What advice would I give them? Well, I wouldn't really be giving them advice. I would be teaching them how planning is done. Um, you know, I, I, I don't think that people have difficulty planning. I think that they just plan the wrong things. People plan to not get anything done. They think, you know, they go, what should I do today? And they make a list of stuff and they go, well, I'm probably just going to sit around and do nothing. And they sit around and do nothing excellently. And there's these pictures in their head they follow and these they don't follow and they need to reverse them. Uh, they need to become compelled. Uh, one of the things about successful people is that, is that they're, a, they're a little OCD about getting things done and primarily because it feels good. Uh, you take somebody that doesn't clean up their closet, they open the closet and they look in and they go, gosh, I really should clean this mess up. And then they think, but, you know, I could do this and I could do this and I could do this and next thing you know they find themselves doing something else. It's because they don't really make it a plan, they don't make a commitment to themselves and to other people. And they don't look at it, and the first thing they take out feel better. And when they take two out, feel even better still. And I teach people how to control their thoughts and their mind in a way where they get control of their brain. It's kind of funny because when I started out, you know, being, having been a hypnotist for four decades, a lot of people say they're afraid to be hypnotized because they don't want anybody controlling them. And the truth is, the way I use hypnosis is to teach them so they can control their own thoughts, their heart rate, their blood pressure, what pictures they make. Uh, I'm teaching them the very mechanisms that will probably, for the first time in their life, put them in control of not just the way they feel, the way they think, and therefore what they can do.